Hello guys, so this is part three, the common drain amplifier with the source follower. Okay, I think it's a circuit that we're gonna implement. Again, it is exactly similar to the circuit of experiment one. Okay. Uh, except that there is no RD, so RD here is zero. Okay. Uh, the input is at the gate, the output is at the source. Okay. And I also change it our signal to zero. You know, I just want to change. I want to just want to see the effect of, uh, you know, of uh, of having the output of the source without any other effect of of our signal. Okay. So let's again analyze the circuit first. Then, you know, go to the lab and implement it and see uh, how much or how far our measurement is far from our analysis. It should, of course, all the time be close. So let's start by the DC analysis again. As usual, so the DC analysis. Okay, so our first uh, equation that is ID equal to Kn over two VGS minus V threshold square. And our second equation is that VG again from here, from this loop, let's call it loop one, VG equal to VGS minus uh, plus IDRS. What we notice here, these are exactly the same two equations of experiment one. So exactly same uh, two equations that we solve it together, together of experiment one, so they should lead to the same solution. And the solution is that VGS equal to 2.14 volt, ID is 0.99 milliampere, and GM is uh, 14 or something, 14.1 milli ohm minus one. And why is there is no variation? Because we didn't change something, you know, in loop one, which has RS and RG2. Uh, and it, we're still working in saturation since this is an amplifier. What, what, what really changes here is VDS. So because RD now is zero. So if you, if you calculate VDS, you, you will find it different. Okay. Now is the AC analysis. Here is the fun part. So let's draw the equivalent circuit. You can, again, there are two equivalent circuit. You can use any of them with either common source, common drain, common gate. You should get each time the same uh, solution. So I just go with the first one, the regular one, because I like to see open circuit, you know. Here is VGS, here is the gate, here is the drain, here is the source. So between the source and the ground, there is RS, it's not zero. And the drain is just connected to ground because VDD will be zero now. And the gate is connected to RG, which is RG1 parallel RG2, then our signal and this signal. Okay. Now let's get a V. So here is the output, guys. The output is the output across from the source. And here is the input from gate to ground. So EV is equal to VO over the input, equal to. VO is uh, voltage across RS, which is GM. I'm sorry, here is VGS. GM, VGS, RS. Over the input, the input is the voltage between the gate and the ground. So between the gate and the ground, there is VGS and also the voltage across RS. So VGS plus VO basically, right? The voltage across RS is VO. And remember this is VO as well. So this is basically less than one, okay? 
So AV equal to GM VGS RS over VGS plus GM VGS RS. VGS will go away. So and we can divide by, uh, by GM. So this will be RS over RS plus one over GM. Again, usually RS is much larger than one GM. So uh, this is approximately equal to one. Okay, in our case here, it will be a uh, point nine six. So in our case, EV is equal to point nine six. And just let you check this inequality here. So uh, our RS is two kilo ohms. Let's two kilos, yeah. And one over GM, let's do it very quick. Uh, one over 14.1, it is 0 0.071 kilo. Okay, this is kilo and this is kilo. So this is kilo ohm. One over GM is, is, in, is in ohms. So basically, this is, you know, much larger than, uh, or 2,000 much larger than 71 in another way. Okay. Good. So, uh, and let's also do, uh, you know, EV again. And maybe I'm, I'm mistaken in something. So, 2 over 2 plus uh, 0 0.071. Yeah, 0 0.96. Okay. Like okay. So, here is a EV. And here is uh, everything. And GV, of course, is equal. In that case, GV is equal to EV because our signal is equal to zero. Okay, but if you want our signal, for example, 120, it, it GV will be half AV. It will be 0.47 uh, or something. Yeah. Okay, let's do now or this review first the manual, then do the experiment. So let me share the other screen with you. Okay, so here is the manual. Here is the circuit, you know. Here is the input at the gate, the output is at the source, and the drain is just grounded in EC, of course, the domain. To make the measurement here, compare the theoretical value to measure the value, set CRO to these settings, okay. Get VO versus the input and plug it here. And please make them in different colors. Okay, so I can differentiate because they are, the gain here is almost one. So I want to differentiate between both V input and V output. Of course, V output should be slightly less than V input. Calculate EV, calculate uh, GV, it should be same as EV in that case. And here is a theoretical value, which is, uh, it is most of ours, yeah most of RS over one over GM plus RS, okay? And now you, you should answer these two questions. Why is the correct source of power? Basically, is because the EV is just one. So the output of the source is just equal to the input at the gate. It, it follows the input at the gate, okay? So let's do the, ex the experiment together. I have it already running here, so. Okay, let me, it's, it's already running. As we see, uh, V gate is four volt. V uh, S is 1.86. So again, VGS is 1.2.14. Uh, ID doesn't change of like what I said, 0.932 milliampere. Okay, very close to what we have uh, in, uh, in our analysis. It was 0.99 milliampere. And now let's now see the output and the input. They are very, so the output here is, uh, uh, the output is the blue uh, curve and the input is the red curve, okay? And how I make the background white, just click reverse it, okay? So let me, let us show uh, the input by itself is in the output by itself. So the input was, is, is in on the channel B so channel B, let's let's check the input, for, uh, the input first. So let's ground the channel A. Uh, so this is the input, the channel B. Let's measure it. Okay, 
channel B. So it's a uh, nineteen nine six. Okay, so the input is nineteen nine six, and the output now. Now let's ground this guy and get back with this guy here. Select the trace channel A. Uh, yeah, so it is uh, nineteen two five seven. So let. So let's do the calculation, 19.257 over 19.96. It's 0.96 exactly, like the number that we get from our analysis, okay? Uh, so this is basically uh, all the stuff for, uh, uh, for common drain. And, you know, we're gonna go now to the last configuration we have, which is the common gate amplifier.